Hello, here's a quick guide of how to use PhotoDVD version 4 software by VSO Software that allows you to create slideshows for DVDs or to upload to the web. So the DVDs can be read on any DVD player. So slideshows with music, photos, and comments. Alright, so the first step here is to add photos. We can do that by clicking on the icon on the bottom left hand corner. Or we can also drag and drop folders into the interface here. So selecting a photo here, I can see it on the right. I can also make the photos bigger here using a slider down here. We can change the photo, rotate it, um, and we can right click and remove it if we want to as well. We can put this nice picture of a cat down at the very bottom of the list also by using the move picture to position and here I would set 13 as there are 13 photos in my photo list right now and we will see that picture all the way down at the bottom of the list. Alright we can do some more photo editing by double clicking on a photo and here at the very bottom we can enter in subtitles that will be used on our slideshow. Um, we can also change the movement of the picture if we want it to be zoomed in or the transitions used between pictures. So to look at the slideshow we can press the play button and see what that looks like. We can also um, change the pictures to black and white if we want as well up here or to sepia and do those rotations again here. All right. Let's click on the next step. Here we can add music to our slideshow. We can see what our slideshow looks like with the music by pressing the fast preview. Here we go. And we can also see how our audio matches up with the photos. So for example here my audio playlist will be cut because I have too much music compared to the number of photos. So I could just go back and add more photos to my list to match up with the music or I could change their duration time as well if I want by increasing the display time of each picture. Alright, and I can do that also by using the global settings up here. And those will apply to all the pictures instead of setting them individually because this will apply to just this one image. Alright, so we've added our photos and music. And here in the next step we decide whether we want to create a DVD video or a web format. For example, YouTube or Dailymotion. And we can decide to burn the result, notably for DVD video, directly onto DVD by checking that. So that's all there is to it. A couple of steps to follow here to make a, a slideshow, either for the web or for DVD. And uh, click on next and the compiling will begin. So that's it. Check it out. Photo DVD.